Hi everyone, I'm gonna show you today some tricks for the amazing game New Zealand Story. Let's change a bit topic, it was uh, all about the bubble bubble so far. So uh, what tricks? So I'm gonna show you the position of the warps that are in the first two islands. What is a warp? Basically it's a hidden door that you have to find by and open uh, firing five times and uh, uh, it's basically beaming you to a different level. This different level could be a bonus level or uh, another level of the game. This uh, that I'm gonna show you uh, is a video about the warps in the world version of New Zealand Story. There are other versions, for example, the Japan version. You find online a very, very nice uh, um, guide to the uh, Japan version. And you have to know that this is a bit different because uh, in the uh, world version, some levels are different. And also the position of some warps is different in the world and in Japan versions. So let's start immediately and uh, let's play some New Zealand story. It's... Let's go. Fantastic. So the first island is very simple. Here you find the first warp. So what is very important, so then it projects you to the uh, a hidden level that has two warps, one on the left or one on the right. If you catch the one on the right, you will find yourself in the same level in a region that you cannot access otherwise. You just collect all these apples, go down, and you are basically a bit farther away in your level, you might recognize this place already. And well, we complete the level. Very simple. Okay, let's go on. Then let's take the left. What you will see, um, so, so you see usually when you, when you shoot your arrows or whatever other uh, weapon I can show you here they go through you recognize the presence of a warp because the arrows stop and are absorbed somewhere you 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 shoot five times and the warp opens so let's take the left this time this is bringing you again in the same level one 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 in another region again not accessible otherwise you take the letters and you simply complete the level. And that's it. Okay, uh, this is a, a very small uh, scheme of what you've just seen for uh, the warps, the warp in level 1.1. You start there, it brings you, the, you take the warp, it brings you to this bonus level and then it has two doors to other warps left and right and it will take you back to 1.1 in some different areas where you can collect the apples or you can collect the letters level 1.2 now there is a second we don't have to take everything just try not to be killed because i mean not at this stage at least Now the warp is here, shoot five times and there we go, it opens. It go, brings you to this box that you cannot access otherwise in level 2.1. You take the letters and you get into the warp. This is the level, this is the warp that allows you in the Japan version to loop indefinitely between 1.4 and 2.1. It's not possible to do it in the version of the world version because this warp, this box is a bit higher and so you cannot really jump inside this warp if you are not getting there from level 1.2 so this is level 1.4 we go on
Collect the letters. We just have already an extra life. We have already done the extent. And now, we are just under the boss, as you see. So if I jump up here, I will go to the boss and instead I go all the way to the end and I open another warp and this projects me to level 2.4 and then I can go and complete level 2.4 Very good. Done it wrong. There, there, there's the other warp in level two point four. That gives us ah. Uh, Sorry, I have done it wrong. That gives us access to a hidden level. Which now, oh, there we go. This hidden level just kill all the enemies. We just need to kill all the enemies in this hidden level. And when all the enemies are killed, you will get the new warp opened. And I've done the wrong. So I have to redo the whole tour, but anyway. There we go. And this is 3.1. And we can go on on 3.1 and complete 3.1. This is a small scheme of what you have just seen with the uh, warp starting from level 1.2. You take the first warp, it brings you to level 2.1, this small box. Then you collect the letters, you go to level 1.4. Then uh, here you can complete level 1.4 directly, killing the boss. Or you can go on and take the warp that brings you to level 2.4. Again, you can co uh, complete uh, the 2.4 and go for the boss, or you can take another warp that brings you to this hidden bonus level, and then this will bring you to uh, another um, warp when, when you have killed all the enemies, and it takes you to level 3.1. 3.1 has no warps, to my knowledge, and you can just simply complete this level. Now we go for the 1.3. And I show you, there are two different warps in this level. We're gonna see both.
Al So we go up as usual. When we start, uh, when we go for the water, we find uh, the first warp. Okay. So let's check it out. It is here. You see? First. Then we have this bonus level. We just take the letters and here is another one there we go and we end up in this box of level 2.1 and we can complete we can complete level 2.1 normally or we can do a trick you know where we are we are at verse at the end of level 2.1 i show you you know there is a, a warp there and there we go. So now let's check the second warp of level 1.3. So here is the first warp of what we have seen before. And we just check it out. We ignore it and we go on. You know, after the water, there is basically the cage here on the left you will find the cage we instead of caring about the cage we go on here and we enter in the other warp this other warp goes into a secret level when you are here on this platform you open another one and you find another secret level in this level there are some enemies we have to kill all the enemies oh yeah Okay, kill all of them, and when you have killed all of them, you open another warp, and then you find yourself at level 2.2, and you can simply complete level 2.2 normally, and complete level 2.2 in your favorite way. I show you where we are. We are very close to the end of the level. You know this place already, probably. And here's the cage. Voila. Okay, there we go again. We ignore here the first. We don't want to get trapped this time. We go to the second one and I show you what happens. Again, we go here to the second one, get in, and here we are at this warp. At this, and we ignore. We ignore. The warp, we catch all the letters. To do this, you have to go up and do second round. We have an extend. And then we continue and we end up in level 1.4, which we can go on and continue in our normal way. This is the beginning of level 1.4. Eh? is what uh, you have seen uh, starting from level 1.3 we have two different warps the first brings you to a bonus level this is the one that at the beginning of the water and uh, then uh, this bonus level ends up in level 2.1 the second one 
ignoring the cage and going up instead of uh, uh, liberating ignoring the cage and going up instead of uh, uh, setting free the uh, little chick uh, brings you to a bonus level here you have two choices either you open a warp and you go to another bonus level and then you end up in 2.2 or uh, you go on ignoring the warp and you end up in 1.4 the next level will be 1.4, but there are no warps there except those uh, that you access uh, from 1.3 and from 2.1. So basically not really proper warps uh, that in 1.4 um, bring you somewhere else. There is one, in fact, just below the boss that uh, you can uh, open and access when you go all the way from 1.2, 2.1, 1.4 and you get on below the, the boss, this area. Otherwise, you cannot get there uh, if you start 1.4 from uh, the beginning in a usual way. Okay, so first island of the first level of the second island. We have seen already there is a, a, a warp in the box that one can access close to the, the, the cage. You access it from level 1.4, but uh, as said, this is only uh, accessible in that way. We cannot go there in the world version. In, an, in other ways, uh, in the Japan version, is it, pos it is possible because uh, uh, this box is a bit lower and here instead is not possible. One way to do it would be to have a laser when you get there. Yeah, just wait a second. You need uh, to have a laser when you get there. Sorry, I get concentrated, and you can open it uh, uh, shooting through the through the wall. Ah. Shooting through the wall with a laser, and uh, you open it and you can uh, jump in inside it if uh, you are playing the, the Japan version, which has, uh, as said, uh, the box a bit lower. Here we can't, but we can do something else. So, get a duck here, and then you have to go all the way to the cage with a duck. So now, instead of going to the cage, the cage is here on the right, right? Instead of going there, ah, get this tunnel. Ecco qua. And you find yourself at the other side of the cage, ignore the cage and go up here. All the way up to this other box and here you find the warp. This brings you to a hidden bonus level where we collect the letters. Sorry. And then, and then we go up here, we stop here, and here is a warp. This warp brings us to another hidden level. We can go fast, and here we have to kill all the enemies. I died. Take the letters, kill all of them, be a bit careful. And then when you have killed all of them, another warp opens. 
brings you to level 3.4 and here we can go on and complete level 3.4 normally and we go to the first warp ignore the, the guy to be saved go up the warp go take the letters ah. and now Ignore the warp that is there and we go down. We go directly to 2.3. And we can complete 2.3 normally. Okay, this is a small explanation of what you've seen for level uh, 2.1. There is, first of all, this box that allows uh, an infinite loop in the Japan version. In, the, in this world version, you can access it only from level 1.2 and brings you to level 1.4. Instead, in the Japan version, you can access it also playing normally. It's at the side, it's above uh, the cage. In our case, instead, we, we fly over the cage, we take the tunnel and we end up in a bonus level. This has two possibilities, a warp that brings to another bonus level and then to level 3.4 or an, an exit that, le that brings you to level 2.3. In the two cases, you can complete 3.4 or complete 2.3 normally okay let's continue with level 2.2 here there is a, a warp at the very beginning so instead of going up and uh, going on the, the level you go the other side of the of these spikes and you can open a warp this basically brings you towards the end of the same level and makes your life a bit fa uh, faster and simpler. We are, as you see, already here at the cage. Voila! This is a small explanation of what you've just seen for level 2-2. Uh, simply, you have a warp that brings you to another section of the level very close to the exit. Level 2.3. Also here we have uh, a warp not too far away from the beginning. I can show you where it is. Just give me just So we go here in the water. Be careful. Just get rid of all these guys. And then here you can open your warp and then jump in it. This accesses a level, a bonus level where you can collect these letters. And then on top there is another warp that brings you again to level 2.3 and you can complete the level in the usual way. Full explanation of what you've seen for level 2.3. There is a warp, it accesses a bonus level and another warp there brings you back to 2.3 towards the end of the level. Level 2.4. Also here there is a warp, we have already seen it when we arrive to 2.4 from another level.
I can show you again where it is. Remember here. Instead of going to the cage, here you open the warp. And there we go. And this brings you to this secret level where you have to kill all the enemies to open another warp. Be careful. And there we go. And it brings you to level 3.1 and you can complete your level 3.1 after having collected all letters and then having won an extra life. And so on. Bye bye! So this is a small explanation of what you've seen for level 2.4. There is a warp you access to a bonus uh, level and to this there is another warp that accesses 3.1 and then you go on with level 3.1. Okay everyone, I hope this was uh, useful for you for playing uh, the New Zealand story and uh, as soon as uh, possible I will uh, go on with the warps of uh, islands 3, 4 and 5. There are not so many, so they're gonna be all in one video. This was already long enough, as usual, and uh, well, I think uh, for today it's uh, all right. Have fun, play this amazing game, and uh, explore all possible warps and tricks. Bye-bye!